Uh, welcome back everybody to my 31 days of horror. It is episode 21. Um, thought I'd do something a little different here. Um, I'm going to be eating in this one. So I've got a, a sub from earlier. And yeah, uh, a veggie sub. Um, because I recently became vegetarian, so I'm actually gonna add this new hot sauce. Um, I did a promo today with uh, Jake Chersky from uh, Philly Cheese Jakes, who has his own hot sauce, so I'm actually gonna try this on my sub. And uh, today's film is a little different from the typical slasher film, you could say. It is in a slasher film franchise. It's a film that um, a lot of people don't really like because it doesn't have the main character in it and the film I'm talking about is Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. So before I get into eating here and talking about uh, what I liked about the film and why I'm recommending it, if you don't know what Halloween 3 is about, it's, act it's not about Michael Myers. The synopsis on the back of the DVD is when a terrified toy salesman is mysteriously attacked and brought to the hospital, babbling and clutching the year's most popular Halloween costume, an eerie pumpkin mask, Dr. Daniel Chalice is thrust into a terrifying Halloween nightmare. Working with the salesman's daughter, Ellie, Daniel traces the mask to the Silver Shamrock Novelties Company and its founder, Connell Cochran. Ellie and Daniel uncover Cochran's shocking Halloween plan and must stop him before trick-or-treaters across the country never come home in this terrifying thriller. So this film is from 1982. Obviously it was made after the widely popular Halloween films with um, Michael Myers. In this film, there's a tie to Michael Myers where the on one of the TVs, I think near the end or something, actually has a clip from the original Halloween. And so there's three classic masks in here and the three classic masks are a, a witch, a skeleton, and the aforementioned pumpkin mask. Now this film was made because they wanted to take the Halloween franchise into an anthology format. Which I, I would have absolutely loved to see, but fans love Michael Myers too much, so they had to bring him back. Um, but yeah, um, Daniel Chalice is played by none other than Tom Atkins. Uh, this was directed by Tommy Lee Wallace. Uh, see, the season of the witch stands out because it's not like the typical um, Halloween film, and it kind of hmm. I like the idea that they were going with um, the story is original. It fits within the world of Halloween, which is really cool. Uh, I would have liked to see more stories and 
if I remember correctly, there's a scene in Halloween 2, I believe, where um, there would have been a story based off of like candy with razor blades, candy with poison in it, stuff like that. It was going to be the focus of another anthology film in the anthology franchise, which it, it would have been really cool to actually see, but we got a bunch of Michael Myers sequels that didn't exactly live up to the original ones. The original two. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's an original idea that I think was also, that also influenced, um, probably one of my favorite Goosebump stories, which was The Haunted Mask. Uh, so, it, it's different, and because it's different, and it, like, and its ability to, um, like, um, its ability to actually be in the same universe as Halloween while not directly being connected is one of the highlights of the film. The acting is really good. Mm. The writing, special effects were very well done. Uh, the twist you don't really see coming and it's a, definitely an interesting twist. So this film like got a lot of hate over the years because it didn't feature Michael Myers. And I don't believe it deserved all the hate it got. I went into the film thinking it was just going to be some Halloween film that sucks and I was pleasantly surprised at actually how well executed everything was, how self-contained the story was and yeah just everything about it was a huge surprise and I'm glad to see now that people are coming around to it and it's getting the recognition that it deserves. And like I hope somebody continues like the anthology format and instead of trying to focus on Michael Knight like if fans were to do it, focus on a like maybe like companion movies because I think well for this film I kind of joked a few times that having the Halloween name attached to it kind of ruined the film uh, as much as I love Halloween having it connected by name makes you think, okay, maybe it is part of the, maybe it's connected somehow. Um, <coughs> man, this is good hot sauce. Uh, like, Definitely, if you get a chance to see the movie, be sure you do, and if you are in the Sarnia area, check out Philly Cheese Jakes because they got a, they got a bunch of these, 
other than very happy to finally get a chance to try it. One of the better hot sauces that I've tried. So, and back to the movie. So, the theme song really gets stuck in your head. Um, except in my case, I don't remember. I can remember like the melody of it, but it's I can't um, exactly recreate it. Besides the first Halloween, I would have to say that Halloween 3 Season of the Witch is probably one of my favorites. Um, I might even like it better than the first one, and I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on that, but everybody has different tastes. If anything, they're on the same level, but I feel this one's a little more original. In a way, uh, it's hard to explain, but yeah, if you get a chance to check it out, I don't believe it's on any streaming services, but you can find a DVD somewhere, and I think box sets for the franchise have the movie in it. So, ever since seeing Halloween 3, I try to try to make sure that I watch it at least once every Halloween, uh, along with the original one, which is coming up on Halloween, by the way. Uh, so, stay tuned for that one. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe if you're new. Uh, I got a couple interesting ones coming up uh, tomorrow and Monday. And these ones I found when I was researching uh, for films that I could get inspiration from for a Goosebumps fan script that I'm just going to be writing as an original film now. And these films are original, unique, and the first one is actually a remake. And it's very interesting. I'm going to be talking about it tomorrow, so... I'll let you guys go and see you in the next one. I gotta finish myself. Yeah.